starting shoes here for blue collar prepping and this is where we're waiting for my bottle bag and some parts to work on our rally car done i mean i haven't really finished up the presentation on my minimalist carry you know let's say you don't have a ridiculously large vehicle or even a small one to carry all your extra stuff in and it's like everything you got to have to come with you well you probably recognize this bag from my trip where we had where I carried it on a plane the usual stuff small little brief uh, excuse me first aid kit wipes ponchos Got a blowout kit in here modified, you know, all these things I already showed you. In this pocket here, I've actually added a little bit more of a first aid kit. Now, this is just nothing ex exceptional, but I do have spawn. Oh, look at that. There's an extra kit, which is always nice to have so you can pull it out, hand it to them, put it in your backpack, whatever. It's always good to inventory your stuff instead of just grabbing it. No wonder I can't ever find anything, right? So, in the usual big back pocket here, ooh, some pistachios. Nice bottle pocket. We're going to go over a couple of unique things on the inside. Um, on my trip, you know, I had all the battery stuff and all the cables, of course, for my phone and stuff like that. Well, there's this nice little zipper pocket. It's got a couple pens. I got that in here. I have some paperwork stuff in here. It's pretty handy for that, for all the things that I do. You know, obligatory black duct tape, wedge it. A couple of things that I've added, though. Um, one, and actually I've showed this a little bit, but this is just a handy little, you know, dock kit, you know, personal hygiene kit that I just keep in my bag. It is allowed to get on the plane. I got a toothbrush, shaving cream, lotion, shower cap. I assembled it from some old items at a hotel that I worked at. They were getting rid of, so I put it all together in a nice little kit. It's nice to have. There's no expiration date on it, but I'm always capable of having hygiene, and there's some cleanliness items in here either for me or for others. It's a good idea. I got that in here. And one other thing that I have, I had in my mind, is that this bag will be with me everywhere and most places I go are not sensitive. They're not governmental buildings or things like that. But what happens if there's a cataclysmic event like a plane hits a building, there's an earthquake, which that seems to be happening a lot, like a hurricane. And one unique little item that I got, and I think I paid $5 for it at Harbor Freight, is this nice little crowbar, mini pry bar. You know, pull nails, wood you know in addition to that there's there's multiple uses use it as a hook use it as a self-defense tool tons of different things now granted when you use it as a self-defense tool be careful because it can be considered deadly force but multiple uses i mean everybody's got a pocket tool and a pocket tool is all great for screwdrivers and a set of pliers in which strangely enough i don't have one in here yet that's going to be a post when i can find one that meets my standards it's tsa approved but this is one of those things that, no, you probably can't take this on an airplane. I mean, I'm fairly certain that you can't. But I can take it pretty much everywhere else, except maybe court. And it's just one of those things that it's super lightweight, super easy, super cheap. But the, the amount of uses that it has and the force multiplier that it, can, that it provides, or force multiplication that it provides, it's like, I don't know why everybody didn't have one. You know, everybody's all about carrying a gun and lots of ammo and a tourniquet, of which that's probably one next thing I'm going to add. I, in here as well as a life straw as opposed to doing the Sawyer mini filter but what about if you need to pick something up heavy you know leverage so there you go some ideas from that you know as i said you can, your mileage may vary do whatever you're going to do but that's kind of where we're at with that one last thing is that i've kind of been playing with the idea of actually speaking of guns trying to figure out fire a larger bigger gun to get in here and i've been leaning towards Something along the lines of like, I don't know, maybe an older Caltech sub 2000 or something. But more on that later in another channel another time. So, this is the Discerning Shooters on Blue Color Prepping. And as always, be good, be safe. If you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.